Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. We got a quick update about the Halo Infinite campaign co-op, as well as some more BR leaks. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support recently. All the new subs, welcome. And if you want to stay up to date with Halo, make sure you go ahead and sub to the channel. Give this video a like as it greatly helps me out in the algorithm. But let's hop into it. Halo tweeted that with Halo Infinite Campaign Network co-op arriving later this year, we're planning to flight it to Halo Insiders in July, similar to what they did, you know, with the multiplayer beta stuff. Register and make sure your Halo Insider profile is up to date for a chance to participate. So they say later this year, and I know that uh, people are going to be, you know, probably a little upset, you know, because it was originally supposed to launch with the Season 2, um, I guess the, the beginning of Season 2, the launch. And uh, flighting will happen in July, and then we'll get it later on after that. I really feel like what's holding it back is the original Xbox One. Um, I just feel like they're having a lot of issues with the game probably as a whole right now, trying to keep that legacy console active and a part of the process. So, I don't know. I would like to see it kind of forgotten in the future, <laughs> Uh, if it meant that we were getting better quality stuff and maybe, you know, once more people get the new Xbox, they'll kind of reprioritize what they're doing with it. But who knows? But make sure you sign up for the Halo Insider. It's coming soon. And that's pretty cool. Next up, we have some more BR leaks. And this is from Infinite Leaks on Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow them, make sure you, you do that because uh, they tweet pretty regularly. But uh, this is the Tatanka playlist in Halo Infinite. So quads, trios, duos, and solos. And the last time I checked, I'm pretty sure that we were not confirming that there were a solo queue in there. And that last Spartan standing was going to be that stand-in, I guess, for the single-player version of that. Um, so that's kind of uh, different to see. That's, that's new. And max players will be 60. And I think that that's fine because there will be PvE elements as well and... Um, that's probably like the number that will work the best instead of having like a hundred Spartans and PVE and all this stuff. Um, and with the network issues that Halo Infinite is having right now, I think that that's probably best and maybe one day they'll expand it. Who knows? Again, with the legacy consoles, you just never know. Also, something else that is super cool is that Fletch from Unlimited Halo has joined 343 Industries as a community graphic designer. That's sick. Like, that's a super cool thing. He's a great guy. He's been very nice to me uh, in my time with the Halo community. So, big ups to him. That's, you know, that's a dream come true, I would assume. I'm actually going to watch his video about it um, ASAP. So, if you haven't already, go go subscribe to him. He says that he's going to continue the Ultimate Halo goal, dream stuff as well. So, But this is just good for him. Congratulations, Fletch. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, like I said, and you love Halo, make sure you sub, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!